The Earth 2 withdrawal experience has been one of the biggest pain points and probably one of the most negatively viewed aspects of the platform. But a recent announcement by CEO Shane Isaac might change everything. What is up guys? Welcome back to the Bull Combo. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It is like 10.45 my time, but I'm coming at you guys with a really quick video because Shane just made an announcement that I think is a pretty big deal. And I want to talk to you guys about it real quick before I went off to bed here. So as always, if you guys want to support the channel, you can do that using any of the support options listed down below in the description, or you can help out by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell to get notified when I post new content. Also guys, don't forget there's a double giveaway being run right now, courtesy of the guys over at Earth 2 News, two 36 tile class two plots in Armenia. Make sure to go over to the article that I highlighted in my last Earth 2 video. Comment there and you'll automatically be entered into the giveaway. Just for perspective, guys, last time only 11 people entered, so your odds are really good if you get in there and enter. So make sure to just sign up real quick, comment on the article, and listen to the pod because it's a really good listen. All right, guys, so like I mentioned, Shane just announced that they're in the final stages of finalizing a deal to bring us some sort of Earth 2 card. Now, we don't know much about this card right now. But I think there's some interesting things to take a look at here. My first question is whether this is going to be an additional withdrawal method on top of the existing ones, or they're going to be using this to replace the existing withdrawal methods. We also don't know if this is going to be linked to MasterCard or Visa or some other form of globally operating bank. Maybe they're even partnering with Revolut on this, which would actually be pretty cool. So in addition to announcing the card itself, Shane's tweet also referenced the ongoing riddle that's been happening with the words capitalized, will anyone solve it? So clearly there is still a riddle active that no one has solved to this point. This is a side sort of reference inside of the announcement itself. Obviously the big deal here is that there's gonna be Earth 2 cards coming. I'm really curious to see what these look like, if they're gonna be customizable, etc. I know that's really extra question, but I think that'd be kinda of cool. Uh, he also mentioned that there's gonna be special or limited edition ones as well, so those will be cool to see. Uh, but I think this is just a really big deal and it shows that they may have some bigger plans in the pipeline and some bigger things planned long term that would make this card uh, worthwhile or useful. Otherwise, I'm not too sure why they chose the card option. I know similar platforms don't have a card like that, so it's really curious that they chose to utilize a card in this specific scenario. I'm kind of glad this announcement wasn't something ridiculous like, hey, we got this minor bug fixed or this performance issue resolved. Uh, and it's actually something a little more substantial and I think something that some people should find really useful, especially those who are experiencing issues with their banks, receiving deposits, etc. I do have a couple questions that I think are a little concerning, or a couple things that are a little concerning. Remember guys, Earth2 is still centralized, which means for all intents and purposes, this is still another centralized banking option. And while that's great and it's more useful and convenient for the platform, I'm not sure if it's what we're really trying to get to and what we're really trying to push for with some of the stuff we're looking at inside the space. So I'm curious to see how that works. I know we are also supposed to be waiting on some sort of announcement related to a GoChain partnership. And now I'm wondering if this was the big deal they were working on that whole time, or if maybe there's something going on in the background for that as well. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this, guys. Do you think this is a good idea? Do you think this was the big partnership they had planned? Do you think the GoChain deal is no more? Do you think it fell through? Do you think there ever even was a GoChain deal? Let me know down below in the comments, guys. I'm really curious because I think this is a very interesting development on multiple fronts, uh, not only from an announcement perspective, but also from a development and just uh, kind of throwing us off base in terms of what we thought was going to be announced here. So other than that, guys, I want to thank you for checking out this video. Hope you guys have a great day, a great night, morning, whatever it is, wherever you guys are. I'm going to edit this and get off to bed. And until next time, we'll see you soon.